of having filmed this now because last time the dogs were going crazy and all up on the camera and all spits and everything. But as you can see up there, um, I got my third tattoo just recently. Tell me if you love this cabin, by the way. Is it? Oh, for Jimmy, yeah. Is it my autumn favourites, but not everyone watches every single one of my videos. So, yeah, there you go. But as you can tell up there, I got a, I got my third tattoo. There you go, third tattoo. Um, well, I got it, like, four weeks ago. But I got it finished off on Wednesday of last week. No. Yeah, last week, Wednesday last week, I got it finished off. Because it was a two system tattoo. And, um, yeah. I've got the tattoo. Let's see. Look at that beast. Look at that, Ruben. By the way, these are going to be in our videos now. Because they come upstairs a hell of a lot. And we're going to film with them. Because they're precious and they're cute. And we've got to feed them. It's going to be our videos at some point. But um, this, as, as well as showing off my new tattoo, which is completely fabulous. I would just wait until it was fully healed to do a tattoo on it because I didn't want to really show you a minging, peeling, flaky, red, bumpy, swollen, all that heme stuff tattoo. I didn't really want to do that because that's like, ew, my shoulder's your awful healing tattoo. What's the point of that? I don't know. But, um, as you can tell, it's also a healing advice a video, tutorial, hints and tips, advice. All oh, I've been rolled into one, really. I don't really, really have any kind of structure, you know, you guys know that. But, it's a Fuji. <laughs> but, um, when you get it, oh. Daddy needs to be in camera too, babe. When you get it and they cling film, saran wrap it, whatever country you live in, whatever you call cling film, or saran wrap or whatever, once they put all that stuff on and it's all like kept free from the elements and free from bacteria and all that awful stuff, you want to keep, they usually advise that you keep it on for just a couple of hours, but I keep it on for as long as I want really. If I feel it's right, to, if you feel it's right to take it off, then take it off. But I would say at least three hours, or four even. But like, don't leave it off for too long because, like, well, I did it when I went to get the when I went to get the beast finished, and like I left it on overnight, and then woke up the next morning and there was no ink on the clean film, no ink on my bed sheets, obviously because of the clean film. But I washed it and like, like there was ink like built up on the tattoo, like loose ink had built up and then gone all sticky. It's fine now, everything looks fine and healed perfectly. But like initially it was a bit sticky and there's like ink, not a good time. But I say keep that on for as long as you can, completely off track then. And then when I did, with the shading from this one, has healed like really, really well, really, really, really well. Still a little bit dry in places, and it could do with like a bit of clean. But it's healed really well, and no colours run or anything. So I just suggest do what I do because I I left it because it hurt like quite a lot because like shading does hurt. And I had that done for like an hour and a half. And because it hurt so much, I didn't necessarily like wash it or put lotion on straight away because obviously it hurt. So I don't really put my hands up in there like, ow, ow. It wasn't worth it. So I'm well, I was a bit of a rebel. And I, I'll leave it. And I didn't bother straight away. Because I didn't, I didn't want to, because it hurt. But after that, I washed it twice a day. And then, use whatever you use. I used. I 
Eat this stuff. The pants then. Yeah, there it is. Nappy care ointment. Now, obviously, it's made for babies, but it's also made for tattoos. So, that has been that is actually literally it. Use that and wash it, and for the first, like, few days or a week or so, depending on how, like, big it is and how much it hurts, try to take to baggy clothing for a bit. I personally, because I got it done in, like, what, no, like, late November, the shading. So, like, I kind of, like, had to not wear sleeves in cold weather, which was not good and probably didn't help when it came to my infection that I've now got. So, yeah, that has literally been it for my tattoo aftercare video. Um, yeah, thank you for watching and bye bye for now.